It is so small you can't miss it. A small building in Charlotte's Notre neighborhood may be getting new life. And Queen City News reporter Maureen Moritz is live there tonight in Noda with more Maureen on this very peculiar property, right? Alicia, yes, ask anyone who's walking around here in Noda, and they've noticed this little soda shop off of 35th Street. So when a new sign appeared out front, everyone wanted to know what's next. Sometimes it's not always the biggest or the boldest that stand out. Right when we moved in. Yeah, it's small. It's like right on the corner of our place, and it was, it was empty. So I'm just kind of curious what was going on there. Small, square, and faded. It's hard not to notice the little shop tucked into the Noda neighborhood off of 35th Street. No, I think it's, it's pretty small. I, I wasn't obviously haven't been there when it was open. Though it may be little, it's got a big history. Once it was a yoga studio. It was Paps Blue Ribbon was using it as an art gallery. And an art gallery. Um, yeah, that didn't last. And barely a soda shop. It's a shame that it never, it never got to take off. Jeff Jackson lives down the street. He says unusual little buildings like this one don't often last. You see houses in Noda that are from like the 1960s that get torn down. Though it's been empty for about five years, the building built in 1945 has a new shot at life. No, it's not being torn down, but leased or sold to someone new. I think a little like beer and wine shop would be cool because it's right on the corner. I'd certainly love not to see condos. I'd love to see something. Um, be great if it was something that was a small business. I mean, it also makes sense to me that it might be some sort of small art studio. So for now, small is here to stay. So this building is just over 700 square feet, and it's been zoned for retail, office space, so the people here in the neighborhood are just anxious and excited to see what's to come. Live in Noda, Maureen Wartz, Queen City News.